Hello? Hi doctor, I don't know what to do about this. Jane, who got a nose job last week, called and said she's going to sue you. What should I do about this? Oh well, just hang up the phone. She doesn't understand what beauty really is. Okay doctor, Katie should be there soon. Okay. Come in! Hello, Dr. Peterson. How are you? Couldn't be better, Katie. So, you've decided to have the operation, have you? Yes, Doctor, but I'm a little scared. I've never had surgery before. I've no idea what's going to happen to my body. Your body will get sexier. That's the only thing that's going to happen to your body. Did you know? According to a research medical group at UCLA, American guys check out breasts first when they look at women. So how can you expect to make a good impression unless you have nice ones? That's why cosmetic surgery is very popular in this country. Don't worry, I've done this operation many times. You say so. Doctor, I have a question. How come you decided to become a doctor? I wanted to become an artist! I enjoyed painting, drawing, creating! Oh, Leonardo! If only you'd painted her this way! A masterpiece! But my parents, they wanted me to become a doctor. Then, I got an idea. What if I become a cosmetic surgeon? Then, I could still be a doctor while still being an artist. My parents are very happy. And I'm very happy, too. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Let me show you my artistic work. These boobs are too layered. These boobs are very long and sharp. In addition, they're adjustable. In case you're running a marathon, you can make them short. But let's say you want to jump in the sack. You can make them long again. Which boobs would you like? Well, doctor, I... <laughs> Don't worry about the bra. Here's the bra that goes with those boobs. I make a gift of it for you. Doctor, I just want mine to be big. Okay, let me explain to you how this operation works. Actually, new Katie. See, my life changed drastically after I had my surgery. Many guys look at me now. I feel great. Honestly, it's something all girls should be entitled to. Let me show you what I mean. Uh... Excuse me? Hello? Oh, well, how can I help you? I'd like to order something. Are you ready? 
Well, I think so. Go ahead. I'd like a small coffee. Hello? Oops! I'm sorry. I blanked out. It's been a long day. Would you tell me what you want again? I'd like a small coffee. Two large coffee. All right. I'll be right back with your coffee. Did you see that? This kind of thing happens to me all the time now. But I don't hate it. To be honest, I kind of like it. I mean, I used to have to be the one to ask guys out. But now they need to get up the courage to ask me out. It's kind of nice. This reminds me of something that happened a while ago. Excuse me. Hi. I was wondering if you girls could help me out. I'm looking for a cafe. Actually, yeah, there's a great one, Giuseppe's. It's um right up there on the corner. Oh, okay. So that's a really nice necklace you got there. Thanks. My great grandmother gave it to me. You know, I heard that there's a really great cafe right there. Maybe you and I should go there. Sure. Sounds like fun. Okay. Uh, guys? Hello? I'm still here! The best part, though, is that I have the cutest boyfriend. We've been together for almost two weeks now. He's so cute. I'm actually ready to have sex with him, but there is a reason I can't. And to be honest, I think he's a little nervous, too, which is really cute. Hi, Katie. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Have you been here for a while? Oh, no. I was talking with someone over there. A woman? Oh, man. Okay. But he's gay. What? But don't worry. He says I'm not his type. Oh, well that's good. Honey, I've been thinking about changing careers. You know, working at the bank is very stressful. Counting money all day makes me crazy. Of course they pay me good, and my parents are happy about it. But I don't like it anymore. What do you think? I kind of liked you working at the bank. Only smart people work at banks. And you work at the best bank in the United States. I mean, it's really cool. You should be proud of yourself. Seriously, I don't think you should quit your job. Really? I never thought about it like that. Thanks. Okay, honey, hmm? I gotta go pee, but I'll be right back, okay? Every time. She always stops me when my hand gets close to her breast. I don't want to touch them. I just want to feel them. This is the same thing that happened yesterday. So, uh, I had a great time tonight. So did I. It was really nice. Well, I guess we're here. Yeah, this is where I live. Um, you know what? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is um, where I live. So, okay. good night. Good night. Okay. Damn it. I guess she's teasing me. She's playing her game, and I'm happy to join in. I know I'll win. I'm a mature adult. I can wait until she's ready. So, what time is your appointment with your boss? It's at seven. Ah, I still have an hour. I can't believe they're making me go in Christmas Eve. I'm just gonna drop off the papers and then leave. Where are you gonna be? Are you gonna wait here? I don't know. Maybe. Call me when you're finished. Then we'll go to dinner. Okay. So, what do you want to eat tonight? I was thinking chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? You mean McDonald's? And a double cheeseburger and a Dr. Pepper. Honey, we can't go to McDonald's on our first Christmas dinner. I work full time. I want to spend more money on this special day. Oh. Okay, well what about Japanese? That sounds great. Yeah, all my friends and coworkers go out for Japanese all the time. Apparently it's really popular. And it's really healthy. What about Yoshinoya? What? Yoshinoya is Japanese food, but when people talk about eating Japanese food, they mean sushi. Sushi? Yeah. Like raw fish. Mm -hmm. Ew! 
That's grotesque. I cannot believe people eat raw animals. Well, you don't have to eat sushi if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. There's other things to eat, like uh, chicken teriyaki, sukiyaki, and tempura. Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Katie? What a coincidence. How are you? I'm Michelle. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Good. Oh, I should probably introduce you guys. Okay, well, Michelle, this is my boyfriend, Bill. And Bill, this is my little sister, Michelle. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. So what do you do? Well, I'm working in a bank. But I don't like working there so much. Oh, poor you. So why don't you quit your job? So, what are you doing tonight, Michelle? Oh, I have a date with my boyfriend. I was supposed to be in Hollywood ten minutes ago. Oh, well, you should probably go. No, he can wait. Waiting for a girlfriend is part of the date. I guess he's all excited because he thinks I'm about to show up. So he's happy. He can wait. By the way, Katie, have you talked to Daddy lately? No. Why? How is he? All right. Look, you know, I don't really talk to Dad anymore. I'm independent now. I have a job. I support myself. I mean, every time I talk to him, he just treats me like a child, and I don't like it. Why are you so picky? I don't understand how you can be so inflexible. I mean, if you stayed at Dad's house, then you wouldn't have to work so hard, and Dad would give you money, and you need money, right? Especially now. Not like that. Look, you should probably go. How long are you gonna make your boyfriend wait? <laughs> I don't know. He still loves me. Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Taylor. Yeah. No, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, that's fine. Of course, I can be there soon. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. Who was it? My boss. She wants me to come see her right now, so I gotta go. Alright. Well, call me when you're finished. Then we'll go to dinner. Okay. Okay. Alright. See you soon. You should get going. So, what's up with you guys? Oh, nothing much. We've only been together for two weeks. I didn't know she had a sister. She didn't tell me anything about you. Well, maybe she doesn't talk about me because she's jealous of me. Jealous of you? What makes you think so? Well... I have more money than her, so I have fancier, sexier clothes. And different guys are always calling me, and she gets the guy that doesn't even speak English. She did learn a foreign language, so I guess that's cool. But she's still jealous of me. Well, I don't think she's jealous of your money. She just wants to be more independent and not depend on her father so much. Aww, that's so sweet. You're protecting your girlfriend. <laughs> I wish you were my boyfriend. Oops! <laughs> How's that? Um, nice. Uh, very nice. I mean, you, you know what? You know what Katie is jealous of me about? Your wildness? <laughs> Boobs. Mine are much bigger and better. Well, I haven't seen and touched hers yet, but I think they're almost the same size as yours. <laughs> Mine are real, okay? Here, touch them again. You know, Katie got a boob job. Oh my god. You didn't know? Wait, how? That means you don't know what happened at the operation? I had no idea about any of that. Oh my god. Katie is going to kill me. So what happened during the operation? No. Don't ask me any more questions. I can't answer you. I feel really sorry for her. Hello? Hey. Are you still at the coffee shop? Yes. I'm still in the coffee shop. Katie, you know, there's something- Well, it's not nice to keep your date waiting for so long. What? That is none of your business. Well, I'm your older sister. I know it's best. Shut up, I don't care. Bye. You know what? She only has one boob finished. What? What do you mean? I just told you. 
She has one big one, which is fake, and one miserable one, which is real. Why? I mean, how did it happen? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe you should ask her. She puts stuffing in her left bra so that you can't tell the difference. You guys haven't had sex yet, have you? <laughs> Why don't you simply forget about her? I mean, we are sisters, but only in personality, body, and face. All the rest, we are total strangers. Okay, so she may be smarter than I am, but I am totally prettier. Which one do you want to have sex with, smarter or prettier? Maybe you and I should hang out sometime. Well, Michelle, you are very attractive. And you have very nice things. <laughs> but you have to remember that I am your sister's boyfriend, and you are my girlfriend's sister. So what? It's not like it would be the first time I dated one of my sister's ex-boyfriends. Well, Michelle, we are still together. Michelle, what the hell are you still doing here? You shouldn't treat people like that. Why are you coming back here so early? Why are you here? My boss changed her mind. We're going to see about it tomorrow. Um, maybe I should be taking off. It was really nice to meet you. And by the way, I told them your little secret. Yeah, I heard about your breasts. Oh my goodness. How much do you know? I know you only got one boob done. I can't believe my sister. Okay, well, I might as well tell you everything. So, a month ago I went to the hospital to get plastic surgery to make my boobs bigger. But uh, the hospital I went to sucks. The doctor was drunk and started my operation. I need a drink. Katie, everything will be all right. Just count down from 100, 99, 98. Shh. Scalpel. Boom. Scissor suture. Oh my god! This booby job! It's a masterpiece! I've got to get some pictures. Doctor, you can't take pictures of patients without permission. I'm not taking pictures of this patient. I'm taking pictures of this magnificent boob! Oh, my heart! It's beating faster! Oh! Doctor! Doctor! Help! He needs a doctor! He needs a doctor! Plus, he's old. He got a heart attack during my operation, so my booby job wasn't completed. Additionally, he also died from the heart attack and the hospital went bankrupt. So it's not like I can just go there and get another operation. And I don't have enough money to go anywhere else. By the way, who was the doctor? Dr. Peterson from Pink Cross Hospital. Oh, I know him. I hate him so much. Maybe I should just get my surgery done. I'll ask my parents for money. It'll save me the humiliation. Besides, I don't want to lose you. Don't worry. You're not going to lose me. I don't care if your breasts are two different sizes. Because I like you. You're so sweet. I like you so much, too. But still, these don't look natural. I think I should make my boobs the same size. OK. But listen, if you get bigger boobs, you'll be sexier and make guys happy. But it doesn't mean it'll make me happy. I like you so much. I don't care if you have bigger boobs. I mean. Why can't you stay natural? Uh, I don't know. Well, okay, I'll go get my natural food back. You know, I don't care, though, what other guys think. I care what you think. Can't believe a guy like you exists. 
thought all guys like big boobs. Oh, that that's not true. <gasps> Honey, what the hell is that? Oh, well, that's my penis. Well, what the hell is your penis doing there? I got surgery from the same doctor who helped you. What'd you get a surgery for? I wanted mine bigger too. Dr. Peterson went outside during my operation. It's kind of similar to your situation. Well, you're going to replace it in the right position, aren't you? Of course I will. Don't do it. I kind of like it. Are you sure? No, I'm kidding. 